Hello everyone, welcome to Study Dogma. In this video, we will discuss weekly current affairs of June 3rd week, that is from 15th to 22nd June 2020. Before starting, I will request if you have not yet subscribed the channel, then please, please, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for future notifications and please share the video with your friends and other groups of Telegram, WhatsApp, Facebook and wherever you can so that maximum aspirants can be helped in their preparations. We will be launching last six months 1000 plus general awareness MCQs very soon for upcoming RBI assistant and SBI clerk 2020 exam. Hence, subscribe yourself and stay updated. So let's start today's session. Which city's railway station has launched robotic Captain Arjun for screening of passengers for COVID-19. Right answer is Pune Railway Station. Now, Arjun stands for always be responsible and just used to be nice. And this surveillance robot has been launched by Railway Protection Force of Pune for screening passengers before they board trains and keep an eye on antisocial elements. And remember, DIG Alok Bora of Central Railway is the brainchild behind this robot. Which social media giant has joined hands with Google and Microsoft for Project Protect to fight online child sexual abuse? Right answer is Facebook. And this initiative will focus on five key areas and they are tech innovation, collective action, independent research, information and knowledge sharing and transparency and accountability. Exim Bank has extended $216 million line of credit to which country? Right answer is Malawi. So Exim Bank has extended $216 million line of credit to Malawi for drinking water supply schemes and other development projects. Now, Malawi is a country in East Africa with Lilangwe as capital and Kwacha as currency. And recently, Exim Bank has extended $75 million to Cuba for solar parks and has extended a $30 million line of credit for financing rehabilitation and upgradation of portable water systems in Yendi, Ghana. Which railway zone has set up a body screening facility Fabri I? Right answer is Central Railway Zone. So the Central Railway Zone has set up the body screening facility Fabri I to make the screening of the passengers for the identification of the symptoms of COVID-19. Which organization has launched the web-based portal Arogya Path for healthcare supply chain? Right answer is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. So, this portal will provide real time availability of critical healthcare supplies for manufacturers, customers, and suppliers. India has ranked 12th globally in science research output as per the recently released Nature Index Table 2020. Now, which country topped the list? Right answer is the United States. So, the United States topped the list followed by China and Germany and the Nature Index 2020 has been released by Nature Research. Who has been appointed as the CEO of UTI Mutual Fund for a term of two years? Right answer is Imtayazur Rahman. Now, Neeraj Dhawan has been appointed as Chief Risk Officer of Yes Bank. Tarun Bajaj has been appointed as Director on the Central Board of RBI, whereas Theri Delapote has been appointed as CEO and MD of Wipro. Which day has been observed as World Wind Day? Right answer is 15th June. And this day is celebrated to spread awareness about wind energy and the ways and possibilities as to how wind energy can help change the world. 
and 15 june was also observed as world elder abuse day with the theme lifting up voices name the world's oldest first class cricketer who passed away recently at the age of 100 right answer is vasant raiji and recently sridhar sinoy who was named as dronacharya of kerala hockey passed away what is india's rank in world competitiveness index 2020 released by institute for management development right answer is 43rd so india ranked 43rd and the index was topped by singapore followed by denmark now india ranked 144th in world happiness index 84th in global passport index and 40th in international intellectual property index who has launched an in uniform sanitization chamber called germiclean in hyderabad developed by defense research development organization that is drdo right answer is g kishan reddy so union minister of state for home affairs g kishan reddy has launched germiclean which state celebrated Raja Parva festival? Right answer is Odisha. So Odisha has celebrated Raja Parva festival. Now recently Mizoram has celebrated Chapcharku festival and Ladakh has recently celebrated Losar festival. Which organization has launched India's first gas trading platform? Right answer is Indian Energy Exchange. So, Indian Energy Exchange has launched India's first gas trading platform and it has been launched by Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas and Steel, Mr. Dharmender Pradhan. What is the upper age limit proposed by RBI for the whole time directors and CEOs of banks? Right answer is 70 years. And the government of India has fixed the maximum age limit of 65 years for the chief of defense staff. And India's first and present CDS is General Bipin Rawat. Who has been appointed as India's next ambassador to Philippines? Right answer is Shambhu S. Kumaran. And T.S. Murthy has been appointed as India's ambassador to the United Nations. Narinder Batra has been appointed as president of International Hockey Federation. Whereas P.K. Nair has been appointed as India's ambassador to the Republic of Niger. What was the theme for International Day of Family Remittances celebrated on 16th June 2020? Right answer is building resilience in times of crisis. And COVID-19 protect children from child labor now more than ever was the theme of World Day Against Child Labor 2020 observed on 12th June. Which bank introduces Insta Flexi Cash for salary account customers? Right answer is ICICI Bank. So ICICI Bank has unveiled the paperless facility Insta Flexi Cash that will enable its salary account customers to get approvals for overdraft instantly. Now recently Yes Bank has acquired 24.9% stake in Dish TV and recently State Bank of India has created a separate vertical to focus on financial inclusion and micro markets whereas Indusind Bank has launched India's first mobile app, Indus Corporate Based Facility for opening current accounts. India received $51 billion in foreign investment in 2019. What is India's ranked among world's largest recipients in foreign direct investment 2019? Right answer is ninth. So India ranked ninth among world's largest recipients in fdi 2019 who has won new zealand's first virtual chef competition quality nz culinary cup 2020 held in india right answer is chef angad singh rana 
Now in category level, he won the Quality NZ Culinary Cup Seafood Challenge and Chef Vaiva Bhargava won the Quality NZ Culinary Cup Mutton Lamb Challenge. Which telecommunication company has partnered with DARPG to launch feedback call centers on public grievances? Right answer is BSNL. Which payments bank announced Suraksha salary, a salary account for micro, small and medium enterprises that is MSME? Right answer is Airtel Payments Bank. And through the Suraksha salary account, MSMEs and other organizations will be able to make cashless payments and also provide financial security to their employees. Martapura Re Jamraj, that is Yamraj on Earth, a short film produced by a group from the Ankushpur village of which state has won a special jury award at the COVID-19 International Film Festival 2020? Right answer is Odisha. Who has won the Sharja World Stars Online Chess Tournament? Right answer is Shakriyar Mamediyarov. And Shakriyar Mamediyarov from Azerbaijan has won Sharja World Stars Online Chess Tournament followed by P. Harikrishna from India in the second place. And recently, India's Koneru Hampi has won Women's World Rapid Championship held in Moscow, Russia. Which state government has launched Karmo Bhumi Job Portal for IT professionals? Right answer is West Bengal. So, the West Bengal government launched Karmo Bhumi Web Portal for IT professionals returned and looking for job change due to COVID-19. Now, recently, West Bengal government has launched a development scheme called Martyr Shristi, which envisages making 50,000 acres of fallow land commercially useful and through it 2.5 lakh people will be benefited. And recently, Madhya Pradesh has launched Rozkar Setu portal to secure employment for skilled workers who have returned to the state during COVID-19. India has become founding member of which group on artificial intelligence? Right answer is Global Partnership for Artificial Intelligence, that is GPAI. Which bank has approved $750 million loan to India for COVID-19 response? Right answer is Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, that is AIIB. So, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank has approved $750 million loan to India to help the government strengthen its battle against the adverse impact of COVID-19 on poor and vulnerable households. And recently, the Asian Development Bank has approved $177 million loan to upgrade 450 km of state highways and major districts roads in Maharashtra. Which state has signed MOUs with domestic and foreign companies for FDI worth over rupees 16,000 crores as a part of Magnetic Maharashtra 2.0? Right answer is Maharashtra. Which company has collaborated with National Skill Development Corporation, that is NSDC, to move the vocational training based on classroom teaching to online mode? Right answer is Tata Consultancy Services. So, NSDC has collaborated with TCS IN to provide uninterrupted online learning to students across the country during COVID-19. And this coalition will provide NSDC's training partners access to the TCS IN digital classroom, enabling them to move classroom vocational skills training to online mode. Under whose chairmanship, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, that is IBBI, has reconstituted a 13-member advisory committee on corporate insolvency resolution and liquidation process. Right answer is Uday Kotek. Now, Uday Kotek is the managing director of Kotek Mahindra Bank and recently, Kotek Mahindra Bank has launched 
जीरो कॉन्टैक्ट वीडियो के वाई सी सेविंग अकाउंट नाउ राजेश भूषण विल हेड द कमिटी टू डेवलप द रिफॉर्म इन ड्रग रेगुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया पी के मोहंती विल चेयर द इंटरनल वर्किंग ग्रुप फॉर्म बाय आर बी आई to review the existing guidelines on ownership and corporate structure of private sector banks whereas sunil kumar gupta headed sark and associates firm has been appointed as auditor of pm cares fund which state is set to implement the sauni scheme right answer is gujarat now sauni stands for saurashtra narmada avtaram irrigation and under this scheme 115 dams will be provided with excess water of the sardar sarovar dam from the narmada river india has ranked 6th in nuclear weapon held countries according to the stockholm international peace research institute that is sipri yearbook 2020 which country topped the list right answer is united states so the united states top the list followed by russia and united kingdom now if we talk about sipri then it is an international institute based in sweden dedicated to research into conflict armaments arms control and disarmament which day has been observed as world day to combat desertification and drought right answer is 17th june and this year theme was food feed fiber the links between consumption and land and recently 18 june was observed as international picnic day to encourage people to go outdoors and enjoy a hearty meal in nature who has launched garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan to boost livelihood opportunities in rural india right answer is shri narendra modi and this campaign aims to empower and provide livelihood opportunities to the returning migrant workers and the rural citizens indian intelligence agency has warned against use of how many mobile apps with links to china right answer is 52 saudi arabia's pif one of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds is set to invest rupees 11367 crore for what percent stake of jio platforms right answer is 2.32% and it is the 11th investment in the reliance industries now recently texas pacific group has bought 0.93% stake for rupees 4546 crores and l cataton has bought 0.39% for rupees 1894 crores and recently facebook has bought 9.99% stake for rupees 43574 crores under whose chairmanship sebi has constituted a panel which has suggested measures to strengthen enforcement and recovery mechanism right answer is anil dave and recently sanjay mitra has been inducted as chairman of advisory committee constituted to recommend the apportionment of assets and liabilities of existing jammu and kashmir state which country will host the fourth edition of asian youth para games to be held in december 2021 right answer is bahrain and qatar will host the fifa world cup 2022 whereas India will host the 2023 cricket world cup which laboratory has become the first to create the fifth state of matter right answer is cold atom lab now bose einstein condensate is referred to as fifth state of matter where matter stops behaving as independent particles and collapses into a single quantum state that can be described with a single uniform wave function who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of khadi in bihar right answer is pankaj tripathi so pankaj tripathi has been appointed as the brand ambassador of khadi in bihar now recently amitabh bachchan 
has been appointed as brand ambassador of IDFC First Bank, whereas Sakshi Malik has been recently appointed as brand ambassador of Beti Bachao Beti Padao Yojana, who has launched the auction of coal mines for commercial mining via video conference. Right answer is Sri Narendra Modi. So Narendra Modi has launched the auction of coal mines for commercial mining via video conference and this step has been taken to make India self-reliant in the energy sector. Who has been appointed as acting Prime Minister of Kyrgyzstan? Right answer is Kubatbek Boronov. So Kubatbek Boronov has been appointed as the acting Prime Minister of Kyrgyzstan and Moiketsi Majoro has been appointed as Prime Minister of Lesotho. Benjamin Netanyahu is the new Prime Minister of Israel, whereas Mustafa Al Kadimi is the new Prime Minister of Iraq. Name the author of the book Navroji, Pioneer of Indian Nationalism. Right answer is Dinir Patel. And recently, Kazuo Ishiguro has announced his new novel, Clara and the Sun. The 75 member Tri Services contingent from India will take part in the World War II victory parade of which country for the first time? Right answer is Russia. And recently, Myanmar's military Tatmadaw has decided to use Facebook to provide accurate news to people and recently a 1100 year old Shiva Lingam has been discovered by the archaeological survey team of India in Vietnam. Maruti Suzuki India that is MSI has partnered with which bank for flexible financing schemes? Right answer is Karur Vyasa Bank. So Maruti Suzuki India has partnered with Karur Vyasa Bank for flexible financing schemes. Which country to provide a loan of 200 million euros to India to support Delhi's COVID response? Right answer is France. Volkan Voskil elected as president of 75th UN General Assembly. He belongs to which country? Right answer is Turkey. So he belongs to Turkey. Which day has been observed as World Sauntering Day 2020? Right answer is 19th June. So 19th June has been observed as World Sauntering Day 2020. Now the word saunter means to work slowly in a relaxed manner and this day is observed so that we can slow down from our hectic schedule. Government of India has approved how much amount of fund for implementation of Jal Jeevan Mission in Karnatak in 2020-21. Right answer is 1189.40 crore. Now 1829 crore for Maharashtra, 156.61 crore for Tripura and 1280 crore for Madhya Pradesh has been approved by Government of India for the year 2020-21 to implement Jal Jeevan mission. Which country will be the president of United Nations Security Council for August 2021? Right answer is India. So India will be the president of United Nations Security Council for August 2021. Which company has become first Indian company to hit $150 billion market capitalization? Right answer is Reliance Industries Limited. Name the Indian who has recently joined the club of the world's 10 richest as net worth jumps to $64.6 billion. Right answer is Mukesh Ambani. Who has won 2020 German Trade Peace Prize? Right answer is Amartya Sen. So Amartya Sen has won 2020 German Trade Peace Prize and the prize has been given by Germany's Publishers and Booksellers Association. Who has been appointed as brand ambassadors for JSW Cement? Right answer is Saurav Ganguly and Sunil Chetri. So both 
Saurav Ganguly and Sunil Chetri has been appointed as brand ambassadors for JSW Cement. And Rishabh Pant has recently been appointed the brand ambassador of JSW Steel. Which day has been observed as World Refugee Day? Right answer is 20th June. So 20th June has been observed as World Refugee Day and this year's theme was Step with Refugee. And 21st June has been observed as World Hydrography Day, International Yoga Day, Father's Day and World Music Day. Who has been appointed as the Chief of the Professional Risk Managers International Association? Right answer is Nirakar Pradhan. And recently Devendra Kumar Singh has been appointed as the new Director of SIDVI. Which organization will organize the India Ideas Summit 2020? Right answer is US India Business Council. So US India Business Council will organize the India Ideas Summit 2020. Who has headed the subcommittee of the Financial Stability and Development Council for preserving financial stability? Right answer is Shakti Kanta Das. And recently, Rajnath Singh has been appointed as the chairman of the committee set to resolve any problem in the implementation of the rupees 3 lakh crore collateral free loan scheme for MSMEs. What is the NASA's proposed mission to explore Neptune's moon Triton? Right answer is Trident. So, Trident is the NASA's proposed mission to explore Neptune's moon Triton. And recently, NASA Mars helicopter has been named as Ingenuity. Which state has become the top state to provide employment under Mandrega? Right answer is Uttar Pradesh. And recently, Tripura launched a scheme for school students, Ek to Khello, Ek to Pado, which means play little, study little. Name the new fish species discovered in Arunachal Pradesh. Right answer is Shizo Thorax Shiku Shiru Mensis. Which city based NGO Deccan Development Society has won Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation Award? Right answer is Hyderabad. The Khelo India State Centers of Excellence to be established under which scheme? Right answer is Khelo India Scheme. So the Khelo India State Centers of Excellence to be established under Hello India scheme. Which country has signed an MOU with Nepal for the development of a sanitation facility in the Pashupatinath temple complex? Right answer is India. And recently Bangladesh has launched Sohojoda online plasma network to facilitate plasma exchange between recovered patients of COVID-19 treatment. What was the theme of the International Day of Yoga celebrated globally on 21st June? Right answer is Yoga for Health, Yoga at Home. Who has been appointed as Director of the National Science Foundation by US Senate? Right answer is Seturam Panchanathan. Now Dilip Woman has been appointed as the President of Indian Steel Association. Rajesh Goel has been appointed as director of Naredco, whereas Shikha Sharma has been appointed as advisor to Google Pay India. How much amount of line of credit has been extended by Exim Bank to the government of Nicaragua? Right answer is $20.10 million. And the capital of Nicaragua is Managua and currency is Cordoba. The Reserve Bank of India has enhanced the withdrawal limit for depositors of Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank Limited to how much amount? Right answer is rupees 1 lakh. And previously the withdrawal limit was set to rupees 50,000. Niti Aayog has included top officials of tech companies like Google, Microsoft and Tech Mahindra to form a panel to develop job platform for migrant laborers. The question is who is the CEO of Niti Aayog? Right answer is Amitabh Kant.
World Bank has approved 1.05 billion dollar to which country to generate equality jobs and boost economic recovery in the wake of COVID-19? Right answer is Bangladesh. And recently, the World Bank has approved 128.6 million dollar to Sri Lanka as COVID-19 emergency response fund. Which organization in collaboration with International Transport Forum, that is ITF, is set to launch project decarbonizing transport in India? Right answer is Niti Aayog. Which institute has developed the infusion technology for herbs in the mid Himalayan? Right answer is IIT Mandi. Which city's municipal corporation has launched an app Air Venti for tracking the number of ICU beds? Right answer is Mumbai. Recently, Delhi has launched Delhi Corona app to provide information regarding hospital beds and ventilators. Which bank has launched an affordable housing loan Saral? Right answer is ICICI Bank. So ICICI Bank has launched an affordable housing loan Saral. And in this house loan, the beneficiaries will be women, lower middle income customers with a maximum household income up to rupees 6 lakh per annum. Now recently, Karnataka Bank launched health insurance to cover COVID-19 pandemic and recently Bank of Baroda is set to completely digitize its lending operations. Who has been appointed as chairman of National Institute of Public Finance and Policy for a term of four years? Right answer is Urjit Patel. So Urjit Patel has been appointed as chairman of National Institute of Public Finance and Policy for a term of four years. Now, former RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan has been appointed IMF's external advisory group to provide perspectives from around the world on policy issues including financial help during COVID-19 and recently DK Jen's contract as BCCI's ethics officers and ombudsman has been extended by one year. So here we will end today's session. If you like the session, then please, please, please like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time. You can also join the Telegram group of Study Dogma and follow us on Instagram pages for regular updates. Link given in the description column. Thank you very much.